Hello, everyone, and welcome to Discovery Day. Um, this is a free family fun program. Um, we want to say thank you to our sponsor, the Chickasaw Nation, um, for making these programs possible. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so this is our building. Um, we are located in Midtown here in downtown Oklahoma City. Um, we, um, and at the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, we believe in telling Oklahoma's story through its people. Uh, that, and so today we are featuring um, Oklahoma Hall of Fame member James Edwin Webb. Um, Webb was originally from North Carolina, but he moved to Oklahoma City. Um, he headed NASA during its important period of growth um, and during the space race in the 1960s. Um, so he was director um, when the Apollo missions were taking place in the, the mid-1960s. Um, he was also president of the Frontier Space Science Foundation. Um, he was a recipient of the Medal of Freedom, um, and he was also a trustee for the National Geographic Society. Um, so Mr. Webb was very involved with science, um, and he's um, an awesome inspiration. Um, and so because of his involvement with science, we're going to be reading a story um, inspired um, by Mr. Webb, and we're going to be reading Boy and Bot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get my screen set up to start. Um, let me see. Switch my camera over. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we're reading Boy and Bot by Amy Dykeman, um, illustrated by Dan Yaccarino. A boy was collecting pine cones in his wagon when he met a robot. See, there's a robot. He even collected a pine cone for him. Hi, said the boy. Want to play? The robot blinked. Affirmative. They played. They had fun. There they are. They're walking across a log in the forest. Um, they're skipping stones on the lake. All sorts of fun. But as they rolled down the hill, a rock bumped the robot's power switch, and the robot turned off. What's wrong? The boy asked. Oh no, see his power switch? The robot did not answer. Are you sick? The boy asked. The robot still did not answer. I must help him, the boy said. Uh-oh, so how's he going to help the robot? Hmm. I'm not sure how I would help a robot. Um, he took the robot home. The boy fed him applesauce. Oh, wow. And he read the robot a story. Oh, that's very nice. It's probably how he would want to be taken care of if he were sick. Um, and he tucked him in. Good night, bot, the boy whispered and climbed into bed. So he gave his robot a, the, the robot a blanket. Later, the boy's parents peeked in on him. They did not see bot behind the door. The door bumped bot on his power switch. Oh, you see? Beep, bot turned on. What is wrong? Bot asked. The boy did not answer. Did you malfunction? Bot asked. The boy still did not answer. I must help him, Bot said. Hmm, how's Bot gonna help boy? Well, he took the boy home. <clears throat> Bot gave him oil. See, right in his ear. He read the boy an instruction manual. He was even bringing him a spare battery when the inventor walked in. What do you think he was going to do with the battery? Think he was going to try to charge him or something? Stop, the inventor shouted. That is a boy. 
I'm just in time. <clears throat> the boy woke with a start. Then he saw Bot. The boy smiled. Bot, you are cured. Bot lit up. Boy, you are fixed. The inventor called boy's parents. Then he drove boy home. So they left the bot's home. They got in the car. And they're going all the way to the boy's home. Good night, bot, boy said. Good night, boy, bot said. Want to play tomorrow? Boy nodded. Affirmative. They're already making plans to get to, to play again tomorrow. And the friends did. Um, so there they are. They're doing all sorts of activities together. Um, they're sipping on their favorite beverages. They're playing in wildlife. Um, they're even swimming, which is, seems weird for a robot. Uh, but it seems like they had all sorts of fun. Um, and that is the end. Um, so that was a really fun story um, about a pair of unique friends. Um, and so in honor of Bot, we're going to go ahead and make our very own Bot. Um, so we're going to make our very own robot today. Um, so what you're going to need for today, um, you're going to need um, a, a toilet paper roll or something like that. Um, you're going to need some aluminum foil. You're going to need one piece of paper. Um, you're going to need a pipe cleaner like so. Um, and then you're going to need an assortment of gems. Um, that kind of look like that. And then two googly eyes. Um, I'm just going to put those to the side because I don't need those for just a minute. Um, and then one pom-pom. Um, and then you're also going to need some glue and some scissors. Um, so the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to get our toilet paper roll ready for the antenna. Um, and so we're going to cut a little line, just one little line down there. Um, and that's going to be what we stick um, our pipe cleaner in, which is going to be our antenna. Um, so our next step that we're going to do um, is we're going to cut the pipe cleaner in half. Um, it doesn't have to be directly in half, just about in half. Um, and so about two pieces, like I said. Um, and so that's going to serve as our antenna. Um, and so if you will bend one end, um, that's going to be the end that we stick in um, the back of the robot. Um, and so you can get it, kind of bend it however you want. Um, and so this is how um, it's going to stay for now. Um, but we're going to use the foil, and the foil is going to help secure our antenna to our robot. Um, so that's going to be our next step. Um, so you see we got the antenna there. Um, and it's just kind of secured inside there. I just kind of tucked it in that little hole. Um, and I have that other part tucked to the side. Um, and like I said, we're going to use the foil to actually secure it. Um, so I'm going to use my piece of foil. Um, say, and I actually need to cut off just, just a little bit of my foil to make it a little more manageable. Um, so I'm going to cut off about an inch, inch and a half. Because um, we're going to stuff the excess down inside our toilet paper roll. Um, and so I just don't want to have too much to stuff inside. Um, and so we're going to, we'll start right here on our antenna. Um, and so if you'll take your toilet paper roll, um, take the aluminum foil, kind of stuff around it. Um, and so as you can see inside, I've kind of stuffed down inside there, um, stuffed around my antenna, kind of like that. Um, and so then I can take the rest of the aluminum foil and wrap it around the top. And, and so you just kind of go around and like I said, stuff the excess, um, what's not going to be used on the outside of the toilet paper roll into the middle. Um, and that's going to be where all the excess aluminum foil is. So that's gonna be nice. Um, and so, <clears throat> like I said, the aluminum foil is gonna be how we keep our antenna secure. 
Um, and so it's doing a pretty good job right there. Um, and so our aluminum foil is going to be our shiny exterior because we want a metal robot. Um, so here's where what we're looking right, like right now. Um, so the next step, um, we're going to take our piece of paper um, and I'm going to cut out a small little face for my robot. Um, just like a little oval. Um, and that's what I'm going to secure the robot's eyes to. Um, and so you can do whatever shape you want. I've seen some, some sunglasses on some robots. Um, maybe even just some normal glasses, whatever you want to do on your robot. Um, for me, I'm just going to do a simple little oval like that. Um, and now is when we need our glue. Um, so if you'll take your glue. Okay. Um, and since the aluminum foil is not very even, we're going to put the glue on the aluminum foil. Um, and I'm going to do it right across from my antenna. Um, and I'm going to put my robot's face right there. Um, awesome. So that's what we're looking like right now. Um, so my next step is I'm going to take my googly eyes that I put over there to the side um, and I'm going to use them um, and I'm going to put them on my robot's face. Um, so I'm going to put the glue on the piece of paper where I'm about going to put my eyes. Um, and so I'm going to put the first one right there and the second one right there. Awesome. So now my robot can see. Cool. So there we go. So my robot has eyes. It has its antennas. <clears throat> so I'm going to do one more thing um, before I move on to uh, the couple other steps. Um, and I'm going to use these jewels. Um, and so I saw some friends that maybe made um, use their jewels as eyes. For me, I'm going to use them as um, the robot smile, maybe the robot's buttons. Um, I haven't quite decided what they're going to be, but I'm going to put some glue down here again. And I'm going to glue down my gems on my robot because I want them to be shinier. Um, so I'm going to put that one there, right there. Say, so, kind of be careful as I go. Awesome. So that's looking good, I think. Scoot it over a little bit if I can. So I put this one here and put that one on that end. Awesome. So there's my gemstones on my robot. Um, and I have one more thing I want to put on my robot. Um, I have a, a butterfly gemstone right here. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the back near my antenna. Um, I think that's a good spot for it. So I'm gonna put that right there. Oh, my eye came sliding off. Just gotta put it back where it needs to go. Okay, so here's where we're at with the robot. We have the body done. Um, it's got its decoration, its gemstones on it um, with the butterfly even on it. Uh, but I'm gonna add one more thing to my antenna. So I'm going to lay my robot down here like this. Um, and so I'm going to take my, this puff ball. And I'm going to wrap it, um, wrap it around with the pipe cleaner. And I'm going to use that to give my, my puff ball um, attached to my robot. And so now my robot's antenna has some definition. Awesome. So let me go ahead and get this switched off of myself. Um, there we go. So now we can see my robot. Um, so like I said, that is all, that is my robot. Um, it's got its gemstones and all that. Um, and so thank you so much for joining me for Discovery Day this week. I really appreciated it. Um, and we can't wait to, to have you join us next week. Um, and so we look forward to seeing y'all um, moving forward. Thank you so much.